Hi, I just wanted to present to you the 2018 CX-5. Now this particular here is our Touring with a preferred package. Starting off with the front is a fully new redesign since 2017, bringing out to you the full bi-LED headlights. So if I do turn them on, you will see full bi-LED headlights now. A little bit more uh, distance in the front, so it gives you a little bit better, more visual at night and saves you more fuel efficiency. Now, going up to the front, you do have the radar cruise control over here. That's recognizing your distance. So driving with the person in front of you, you get a full distance recognition, as well as recognizing the distance with you for your stopping. So you have two different types of stopping, one that's your city and one that's a little bit higher speeds. Now from your lower ones, it does fully come stop at a speed of two miles to 25 miles an hour. Now from 25 miles an hour to 90 miles an hour is usually higher. It'll start to apply the brake discs for you, just make it a little bit easier for you to brake the vehicle with a bunch of alerts going on around it. Up here you do have your auto dimming, so it does recognize the person in front of you if their auto dimming is on with their high beams or low beams, it will fully automatically bring yours down so it doesn't bulge them in the eye. You also have your braking that's recognized through there also. Follow me on around here, we do have the 19 inch rims on these ones, full satin and to a fully different color this year, as well as our wheel locks. So we do present uh, wheel locks on every one of our vehicles due to the fact that we do get a lot of people that do get them stolen or somebody tries to uh, get the wheel locks. Well, you can with this one, just a little bit more safety with you. Going around, you do get the full around, so top of right. So if you do have your signal lights on, it does give you the full lighting on this side so you can see a little bit better visual at night. Going around into here, it's full keyless entry, so it's just one push button. All I have to have is a key in my pocket, come up to the door, press it once, lock, and unlock. Very easy to get in and out. Makes it a lot more easier for people who have purses or bags, just carry it onto you. You can get in and out of the vehicle coming onto it. So follow me on over here. I'll take a look at it from this side. So fully, full uh, sway interior, so it has a leather mic uh, followed by a microfiber in the middle, just giving you a little bit of a two-tone, but during summertime when it gets really hot, it's really, really nice to have that. Now you do have the full uh, lever to be able to fold the seat forward. You also do have the option of uh, pushing the seat back forward and raising yourself higher to give you a little bit more better visual at day. So coming up over here, we do have a little bit more space in the back seat. So as you can see already with this one, the middle seat is already down. So you can see it's a full flat line in the back of it. Now you can see again, it's a sway right in the middle of it. You do have AC air vents in the back. So everybody that's sitting back there, they don't have any issues with them being hot. And you get a little bit more, if you come take a look over here, it may be a little bit hard to see, but underneath, if anybody is sitting underneath, well, what that does help with is a little bit more leg room. So during a long trip, you can kind of extend your feet underneath there so it doesn't um, get so hard to uh, rest, as well as you don't feel the legs cramping up. Now coming up over here, you do also have the seats that do recline, maybe a little hard for you to see, but it does recline back about 15 degrees. So it just gives you that little bit of a push that you need, like you're on an airplane, just so you can have the back of your head to rest on, as well as two USB outlet ports back here. That's very big. A lot of people have been wanting it. You do have two USB outlet ports in the back, as well as being able to connect your phones to it. Coming around here, this is a full tail wrap around, so you have the full electronic lift gate. It's just one push button, you press the button once, and there you go. Now what's, the, what's very nice about it is some people that are a little shorter, um, garages are a little higher or shorter, well, you can adjust the height of it by raising and lowering it here, holding a button down, you can actually memory see this whole uh, system. So it only comes up to this height, and it stays like that because some people have a little bit of back problems, a little shorter, it's just easier, more convenient man, easier way for you. So we can just push it back up a little bit. So coming back here, as you come back here, you kind of will see that we have a little bit more space back here. So you can see the seats are uh, 40, 20, 40. So they all individually go down. We got a little lever here, which makes it a little bit more easier. All I have to do is just push this lever and it gets a full seat to go down. So that's available for both sides. You're able to do so. Now, every one of the vehicles do come with their own floor mat. So you don't have to worry about a thing as well as the beauty of this one. You do get a full spare. Now this one does have the subwoofer in here. So giving you a premium sound as well as an actual bass, so it gives you a crisp sound on there, okay? All we have to do is just press this button once, and that's it, making it very easy without having to do too much, okay? Coming around to the actual driver's side seat, well, full power electronic steering. So telescopic steering wheel, so you can actually fully pull that steering wheel out and up and down, depending on where it's more comfortable for you. Full Bose audio premium sound, again, giving you the subwoofer in the back, giving you nine speakers, giving you full crisp sound. If you take a look at it, Holy Mazda's whole goal is to basically, basically 
have the luxurious feel for the vehicle but not the luxurious price. They took a lot of time to actually take a time into actually putting the stitching in the vehicle, the whole door handles, just kind of giving that little bit of a contrast. So when you get into the vehicle, you're just like, okay, I kind of want to see more of what's, what's available for me and what it can do. Now, before we detect the test drive, I'd like to go over a little bit more about the engine just so you can see what the whole Skyactiv technology is about. Follow me on this way, we'll take a look at the front. So, Mazda's whole philosophy, a 2.5 engine where it's giving you the fuel efficiency and the less cabin noise. So the whole vehicle is based off of Skyactiv technology, which is the whole chassis, the fuel efficiency, and what the vehicle can do. It's a 2.5 four-cylinder, naturally aspirated, no turbos, nothing, pushing 184 horsepower and 185 torque. Now, the vehicle has enough pickup for you to not feel that it's lagging. You also have your sport mode available just to give you just a little bit more push that you need without losing the fuel efficiency. Averaging 22 in the city, as well as 24 if you're doing front wheel drive with all wheel drive and 27 in the uh, city for highway, as well as 28 um, if you're doing all wheel drive, depending what it is, if you're going back and forth with them, okay? So before we do that, just wanted you to know a little bit about it. Everything's very easy or accessible here, and Mazda's made it very easy with the 24 hour roadside assistance that they provide, okay? Now, let's go take it for a drive, and let me show you what that's all about.